Welcome to the IUPI Drilling Economics and the AFE module of the Reservoir Development Phase of the ENP Life Cycle. Before beginning this module, you should be familiar with the general configuration, design, and construction of a well. After completing this module, you should be able to to identify the major cost elements in the drilling of a well, to identify the major time-consuming elements in the drilling of a well, Demonstrate familiarity with an authority for expenditure document. It is quite common for the drilling costs to make up 25 to 35 percent of the total development costs for an offshore oil field. Therefore, there is a great deal of incentive to improve the profitability of the development of the field by reducing the drilling costs. Before a drilling program is approved, it must contain an estimate of the costs involved. These costs are based on the project proposal and associated procedures and form the basis for justifying the project. When the cost estimate has been made, an authorization for expenditure must be presented to the management of the company and authorized by them. Many factors must be taken into consideration when estimating the cost of a well. The costs of the well are categorized as time-related costs, depth-related costs, fixed costs, overheads, and contingency costs. Much of the cost involved in constructing a well are dependent on how long the well construction process takes. Some examples of time-dependent costs are the rental of the drilling rig, transportation, daily equipment rental, personnel, vessels, and fuel. The expense of hiring the rig is often the largest time-related cost. Many of the costs associated with the drilling operation are proportional to the depth of the well. For example, the expenses of the drill bits, drilling fluid, casing, cement, and tubing all increase as the total depth of the well increases. Some costs, do not, some costs do not vary according to time spent drilling or depth drilled. These costs are called fixed costs. Two examples of the fixed costs are the cost of the wellhead and preparing the rig to begin drilling. Other costs include costs that vary with both time and depth. Overheads and contingency costs. For example, specialized services such as perforating will be charged for on the basis of a service contract, which will have been agreed upon before the service is provided. The price list associated with this contract will be a function of both time and depth. The payment will be made to the service company when the operation has been completed. Overhead includes costs such as the cost of the office and off-rig staff. Contingency costs take into account any problems that could potentially arise. This cost is estimated by multiplying the cost of fixing the problem by the estimated probability that the problem would actually occur. The drilling program is used to make the cost and time estimates. For some wells, such as wells drilled in the same location as previous wells, the cost and time can be estimated with a high degree of accuracy. For other wells, especially exploration wells, it is much more difficult to make an accurate estimate. When the cost estimate has been calculated, the proposal is submitted to the company management for approval. This proposal is known as an Authorization for Expenditure, or an AFE. The Senior Drilling Engineer the drilling and general managers, and partners in the field development also approve the AFE. Included in the AFE are the costs of the drilling rig, mud, logging, testing, cementing, 
casing tubing, and any other services or equipment needed. The management uses the AFE to evaluate the profitability of the well. Upon approval of the AFE, the management releases funds to finance well construction. If a well exceeds its allocated funds, an estimate of the cost of the extra work is prepared and a supplementary AFE must be approved to cover the extra costs. Now that you have completed this module, you should be able to to identify the major cost elements in the drilling of a well, to identify the major time-consuming elements in the drilling of a well, demonstrate familiarity with an authority for expenditure document. In this module, we explore the factors that affect the cost of a well, including time-related costs, depth-related costs, fixed costs, overhead, and contingency costs. We also introduce the concept of an authorization for expenditure, AFE document, and briefly discussed examples of costs and information included in an AFE. If you are still, un if you are still unclear on any of the objectives, now would be a good time to go back and review.